everybody makes turkey for Thanksgiving. What goes around the turkey makes you Jewish, Vietnamese, Armenian. That shows what your background is. So today we're going to make a Jewish turkey. As most of you know, turkey was not mentioned in the Torah. Why? Because turkey was from Mesoamerica or um, Mexico. It wasn't discovered until the 16th, 17th century. In Hebrew, the word turkey is hodu, which really meant, which means India, but it also meant the West Indies. They thought that it came from the West Indies, and of course it didn't at all. So what makes this a Jewish turkey? It's leftover hollow that I store in the freezer, and then just before Thanksgiving, I cut it in small pieces and toast it for about five minutes at a 350 degree oven. Then I add chestnuts from my German Jewish background, and I also add either prunes or apricots or currants or a combination of them that I soak in rum or leftover wine or whatever for about a half an hour and some chicken broth. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so now we're going to take our onions, two big onions, and celery, and two carrots. Thyme, and you don't have to saute this for a long time, maybe five minutes. By the way, Israel is the number one highest per capita user of turkey in the world. Shawarma is, is used with um, lamb, and turkey because the, if it were all lamb, the flavor would be too intense. Now it's starting to look colorful and nice. Color is always important to me. Moving in here. And it doesn't matter if there's broken up breadcrumbs as well, crumbly breadcrumbs. And then mix the chicken broth with it. The first problem with kosher turkeys are sometimes there are hairs. You can just, if you have them, just pull them off. Or some people singe them on the stove. There aren't that many here, so I'm just going to pick them off. I always save the neck because my brother happens to love the neck. So we save it. And also these giblets add flavor to the turkey. I might cut it a little bit and I put it around the side. Then what I do is I take my some more onions, a few onions, carrots, thyme, and rosemary, and I just put them around the side. Okay, so now you might have wondered what this is for. This is a turkey or chicken stand, which I use a lot. And what it does is it gives the turkey an opportunity to brown on all sides. I take my stuffing and I stuff the turkey. Actually, I'm being very genteel. Usually I just use my hands. It's much easier. You always have, it's very, very important. You have to make your stuffing ahead of time. Keep it in this bowl and stuff it cold into your turkey. Now I put whatever's left over in a container and I cover it and I leave it until about a half an hour before the turkey's done. And then I put pepper on and I do something that my mother did. I use paprika to make it nice and red. And you really want it to brown, so you put this all around it. A cup of broth and a cup of wine. So let's put this in the oven. I start the oven at 450 and I immediately put it down to 350, figuring about uh, 15 minutes per pound. This is a 14 pound turkey. But by putting it down, 
I watch it and therefore if it gets too brown, then I put a tent, a tinfoil tent on top, but I don't do it at the beginning. It's very heavy. Sometimes I ask my husband to help me put it in. And there you go. And I present it just like this and I am going to eat it. Now this looks so good. Even before the turkey is carved, I always taste the stuffing, my favorite part of the turkey. So here I go. I taste the crunchiness of the challah and the chestnuts, which I love, and the prunes. And for me, it means Thanksgiving from all the background of my life. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.